we work uh, primarily with unchurched young people. Some of them are loosely connected to church, a drop-in or, or things like that. And we sort of try then to help churches to focus on, um, on kids who aren't already part of, of their church and their ministry, their uh, church family. We also run some of our quote-unquote own things that aren't necessarily connected to a parish church. And we also partner with uh, organizations like NISCU and then help with school lunch clubs. We pray that they as well, just uh, our children. Our bread and butter at the moment sort of is more re meeting young people in parks because that's where we see the hangout a lot anyways. We have a Tuesday evening in, um, in Raffles and then a Monday afternoon up in Morton and there we sort of, it's very simple, we bring out some hot chocolate, we, we try to connect with the young people there. We, we have partnered with uh, the charity wing of Carlisle United so they send one of their football coaches to sort of help um, run some football uh, sessions. Oh, oh, good effort Aiden. Nobody's going to say it's, it's not been slow going. Um, we've certainly, but we see sort of God working in, in the little things and in the conversations and in the relationships. Once we even asked, um, um, so if you could have anyone over for Christmas dinner, who would it be? And we were expecting Justin Bieber or whatever the celebrity at that year was, but then we actually got really good answers. So they're like, oh, my dad who's in prison or my dead nan and things like that. And so we're like, okay, so we can actually use this sort of to, to talk about some, some deeper things. So we were able to even like bring out candles the next week to sort of like candles in memory of, of dead relatives. What we've seen through working in pioneering places and, and contexts and fresh expression contexts is that there's so much happening out there that's not as tangible maybe, but God is definitely at work doing all kinds of amazing and crazy things.